Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you in five minutes or less how blooms are created in watercolor and more importantly, how to fix them when they do occur. There's no doubt an intentional bloom can be an incredibly beautiful effect. And this is part of what makes watercolor so magical and enthralling. What I want to do for you in this video is to empower you by teaching you why they form, to give you the ability to choose when and how to use them, avoid them, or fix them if they do occur by accident. The first thing we need to do is to understand what I call the climate of your paper. And essentially, that is learning to observe those subtle nuances between wet paper, damp paper, almost dry paper, and completely dry paper. This is the secret to either intentionally creating blooms for effect or avoiding them altogether. The wetness of the surface of your paper and the paint load or the amount of water held in your brush determines what happens on your paper. So here we can see that the paper is really, really wet. So when you put paint on that, it spreads. This is very dry paper. There's no sheen to it whatsoever. This one still has a little bit of sheen. This is very glossy. This I know is a little bit damp. It looks dry, but when I touch it, it's actually cool to the touch. And that means that it still has a little bit of water in it. So let's see what happens when I bring a watery brush into this seemingly dry patch. What we see forming here is what we call a bloom in watercolor. This happens because the area that you've introduced your wet brush to was almost dry, which means the paint is still somewhat active. It's alive. And when we bring a wet brush to the surface, it cracks open the pigment and starts pushing the pigment aside and the water kind of drills down to the bottom and opens up this vortex. And you can see the pigment has collected around the edges here. Sometimes that's a really beautiful and very desirable effect, but for the most part, it happens by accident. And there's not a lot you can do to recover from that. I will attempt to get rid of this. You can't just spot fix a bloom. What you have to do is try to get back to it before this patch dries completely. So what I'm doing is wetting the entire area. We need to rebalance that patch of paint. The bloom formed, remember, because of the tension between and the difference between the drier area and the very wet brush that we brought in. So when I bring the same amount of water back over the entire surface, it will neutralize the zone a little bit. I can still see a tiny bit of this bald spot here, but I can always try to fill it back in with a little bit of paint. That's the only way you can kind of try to seamlessly fix a bloom, but it is a bit of a challenge. You can avoid blooms by simply allowing enough time for a surface to dry and being a little bit patient. For the complete list of art tutorials that I have available, visit my website www.crystalbeshera.com slash shop videos or you can check out the vimeo.com slash channels slash art tutorials website. Thanks for watching everybody and happy painting as always. See you the next time.